Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Just going to be doing a quick summary today. There's not a tremendous amount really going on right now. A lot of things are just underway. Uh, so a couple of things of what I have done is I've taken transportation aircraft over here. The issue is Port Blair's 12 hexes, which actually kind of rules out a lot of our transportation aircraft. I did toy the idea of actually moving some over here to the void. I might yet still do that as we would have then more that could reach that uh, base and potentially carry a aviation unit over there to Port Blair. Uh, but we can get a koi flown out over there to Port Blair, so it's not a tremendous uh, issue. Now, we do have these guys. These are the Kai 56s so there's a couple of these Kai 56s This will be at night tomorrow, which will mean 18 of them. Uh, we do have the L3Y2s over here. So, we should, in theory, be able to carry the Yokosuka third SLF pretty easily. They've got 15 preparation there. They do have a good commander. It should be sufficient to take it, ideally. Uh, we'll have to see, but I'd imagine it will be enough. Yep, as I said in the actual stream, continue to fortify here at this moment in time. The terrain that I will mine will mean whatever is times two, which is all... Uh, it's, it's okay. As it does need fortifications ASAP, really. Uh, we do have additional forces moving in, though, which is a good thing. So the 4th RTA... Yeah, it's not the full unit, unfortunately. But at least that will be here tomorrow. So it's going to take some time. It's because of these roads being absolutely awful. It's one of those that you probably, I bet you could, I don't know, sometimes I wonder, is it just worthwhile just marching to Devoy? From here to Devoy, and then marching up along the major roads? Maybe. It's just not really made for it. Infrastructure is pretty terrible. Uh, which is to be expected, really. So continue to unload, those forces moving there. We'll have our actual units over here, better drive this bloody arse off the rail line, which means the actual division headquarters, the air headquarters, can move to Bangkok. And then we can actually go ahead, well, and just begin the process of actually uh, getting stuff moving out there. I get getting uh, torpedoes launched. Very fairness, I could just move them via ship, couldn't I? I might just move them via ship. I might just indeed do that. Do I actually have the uh, capability to do that? Um, hmm. What's the distance there? Yeah, looks like they're going to have to go back. Put them back there. It'll only take a day. I'll have them begin moving up the rail line towards there. They can't move to Bangkok at this moment in time, which is to be expected. We still have torpedoes in uh, Malaya due to the Southern Army, so that's fine. Uh, the 38th Division is going to take some time to arrive. You can see that they're about uh, one, yeah, two turns out. So they'll arrive here March 8th. Then maybe by March 10th, they might be fully unloaded. Maybe 11th, they'll be fully unloaded. Uh, but we'll have them march now from the word go. But even then, that's still going to mean two days to march there. Two days, two days. It's going to take some time. I could, Or I could have them just march down here, which takes around the same amount of time. And just let's click into the fair. So I could just have them march directly. If that was a major road, that really would be quite helpful, but uh, it is what it is. I think what we will be doing then is attacking over here at Singapore in the near future, really. Uh, need to obviously keep the pressure up there. We can see that uh, their fatigue is recovering somewhat, so we just need to give them that time to recover there. There's another uh, independent engineer unit moving across as well, which is nice. It gives us some additional IJ engineers, which we need. We're never going to allow this situation to ever happen again in any future game. It'll never happen again, so that's okay. Now, over here, I am preparing the actual service forces over here. We are going to be moving across to Palembang. It does seem as if his carriers are in this area. We did have a report of an SPD-2, I think it was, over that submarine there. So it seems like they're in that area. What I'd like to do is obviously try and figure out uh, if that's true or not, which it likely is. I'm going to have a submarine down this way, just make sure he doesn't move back north. Kind of use them as almost like sea boys. Boys, what have you how pronounce it? Boys, I think it is. Uh, try to figure out where he is actually. But it seems like he's heading south, potentially to Perth, potentially he could be headed down here to then move upon Copang, which is why I'm keeping factors and actual aircraft out here at Megsar. I'm not going to be hitting Sorry Bayer's airfield next time because I don't want to take the risk that he could fly in uh, fighters again. We'll see when he does it. He might yet do it again, so I don't want to do that. Now, Tarakan's been a big, big pain. Those coastal defense guns are pretty damn nasty. These guys, they're not going to make it out, but we've taught them to unload. 
I've obviously folded into torpedo boats and patrol boats here, so there's still potential chances that they might hit these guys. They'll obviously bombard, so it's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, but at the end of the day, we'll tell them to unload. They will land here either way. We're going to be launching a natural attack with this unit, so ideally the 81st will be reinforced by two additional naval guard units. Ideally all of them make it there, they'll probably not be in great states. But once they're actually there and attacking, then uh, the battle will be pretty over uh, over pretty quickly. I'm taking three independent SLF units from the Baldwarp to move into these bases of Cotabato, uh, Zone Boanga and Davao, uh, so we can actually feel the garrison requirements there. In China, I'm moving a extra division from Henyang uh, back over here, actually I did mean to do that earlier. So I'm going to have three divisions here and here, just to make sure that we do not ever get pushed back from these positions over here. Uh, which means that uh, in the future we might be able to actually take forces away. But yeah, it means he's going to have to keep forces here. He's got 47, sorry, 47 units there. 24 there. That's a tremendous supply black hole. So, love to know how much he's going to lose in spoilage over time. Uh, we do have our forces over here. These guys are in position. Obviously supplies isn't exactly fantastic. Uh, oh, right, so I'm moving that back to Nanyang. I forgot I was doing that, but that's okay. I can have him plan actually for Sian, which is a good idea. He splits his forces. He does have the main body here, but it looks like he's realized a potential threat, so that's cool. He still has a large amount of troops over here, 52 units, 184,000. But this is, again, another supply issue for him. It's a question of, like, how much supply is going to move in this way, how much supply is going to move in this way. His supply situation is pretty terrible. And we're going to just really encourage that. We're just going to make it worse for him. As much as we uh, possibly can, we'll, uh, we'll make it worse. That new has been a pain, but we'll, we'll find, uh, finish it off later. That new will be finished off later as well. Uh, these units are moving out over here as well. Let's see. You've got enough of a garrison. Uh, you haven't, but there's a unit marching out there to actually take up that garrison. Uh, yes, they're moving to Hang Chao. They can remain there. So yeah, we'll have a regiment moving to Hang Chao to actually act as a garrison, which is good. And what I'm going to do then is actually take this unit here. It's 209 AV, so it should be sufficient enough. I could move that. Let's see. Uh, I could move it into there, perhaps. I might be better off just moving it there, to be fair. I think I will. It's a difficult one because that unit's always going to be a pain, so I do need to actually surround it as much as possible, really. It's a shame that I can't break up these brigades anymore. What I'll obviously have to do is take a lot of these actual uh, Chinese units and put them into that area. So, indeed. I've reinforced a Dina squadron over here in the north. Uh, we have these fellows over here. Oh, that does remind me, actually. Is it underway already? Um, right, that's going to arrive in port tomorrow. So, tomorrow, when it does arrive, I'll begin loading up the second air division over here, which is good. So that gives us another air division, gives us another uh, base, well, sorry, another headquarter units where four hexes could be made, able to use torpedoes, which is good. Uh, but yeah, we are launching the invasion of Palembang shortly. Uh, they're only moving two hexes out tomorrow. They're being covered by Kaya Poly Freeze. Uh, we do see ships over here. We had reports on heavy cruiser in here. It seems like there's an AM tanker tanker, which is interesting. Uh, but indeed, what we're going to do here then is... There are heavy cruisers on the way. I hope they can actually catch up. They probably won't, but we do have a few destroyers, a few light cruisers as well that can be used to actually help us out. So... We need to get a move on. We need to take Palembang. We need to take Java shortly. Tanakan is going to have to fall, so I, I need Tanakan. Obviously, uh, I could have potentially have left it, but it's one of those of where I do need additional sources of fuel in the area. I do need to take control of it. Tanakan's probably a bit of a safer purchase in terms of actual position. It's not as close to the actual front lines over here. Uh, we can see that he has positioned aircraft at Batavia, Samarang and Sodabaya, which is interesting. These positions could be demolished fairly easy. I think Sem uh, Semarang, uh, I don't believe it actually has a minefield. It could have a minefield. It would be worthwhile potentially setting up to check about that. But if it doesn't have a minefield, I can actually bombard the airfield if required. But that's likely going to be the entry point into Java there, really, which is that large port. Uh, we do have, let's see, we do have two paratrooper units over here. So Yokosuka 1st SLF and 1st uh, Raiden Regiment. 
which I could land at one of these units over here, one of these bases. I do wonder what the actual garrison strength of Semarang is, because it'd be very interesting if we could actually secure it via the air. That'd be a big, uh, big one. That'd upset a few things there, really. Yeah, subs so moving out this way. Going to try and figure out where his carriers are in this area. Um, what I'm doing over here with the MKB is I'm moving the MKB towards this uh, point of Ocean Shallow. What I think I might do is have the battleships link up around this area potentially, or I've only got one battleship over here and a few heavy cruisers. I may have the battleships and heavy cruisers move into Bombard Port Moresby, and then when the other battleships arrive, have them go into Bombard Port Moresby, whether that be required or not. Or it might be just worthwhile to wait and gather them all and move in as once and then move out. AKs are moving out to a balance and a few extra units to go ahead and link up with them to give them additional escort. Uh, but yeah, what I think I'd like to do is have the MKB move this way and then move out of the area. Uh, leave fighter, some fighters over here are laid to actually uh, run operations over the area. Lay's now a level 2, moving towards a level 3 airfield. So it's obviously got the potential to do that. Uh, what I'd like to do is obviously then clear the subs out of the area and obviously clear the mines. We do have the Kaya 48 group over here. These guys are the 8th Sentai. They're probably the best that we have for ASW at this moment in time in the area. Right, so they're doing good. They're doing some work. They're hitting the actual subs out this way, and ideally we'll be able to drive them off and make them somewhat uh, less than uh, useful for him. Uh, but yes, uh, gone are the days where we chase stuff uh, for the time being. They're shipping over here where we could potentially have hit, but I don't really care much for it. I want to hit and destroy Port Moresby. I want to take Port Moresby, free that division up to then head towards the Dutch East Indies. And with an additional division, that would actually greatly benefit us over here. We are going to head... I mean, I could probably take Java without that extra division, but it would be nice to have a potential division spare. Once we do land at Palembang, the conquest of some of Sumatra will not take terribly long. It'll take a couple of days to really conquer that. Potentially longer due to the fact that he's had more time to build up. Uh, but we do have a house room in place regarding a fortress Palembang, so I don't think he's doing that. Uh, he's probably looking to just have all his units over here at Batavia, which is fine by me. I mean, Batavia is clear terrain, which you can't do anything about. Uh, but what I would look to do, I know Batavia has mines, but what I would look to do is actually suppress the airfields, and then I'd just use uh, destroy minesweepers or just minesweepers, just clear the mines out of Batavia, and then just run uh, pretty much round the clock naval bombardments if it proves to be a problem, really. It's one of those where Java, due to the nature of it being an island, is... It's fairly unique in the fact that, well, unique in the fact that we can actually get to it in a number of different ways, which is good. Uh, but indeed, it is interesting. He did actually achieve a nice little victory over here at Singapore, which I've got to hand it to him. It did, uh, did shock our light bomber forces over there, which, yeah, kind of sucks. But I think he understands the gravity of the situation. He, he knows really can't linger there. He may linger in the Indian Ocean longer, which is something I'd like to try and encourage. So what I'd like to do then is by depositing some actual zeros from MKB over here to have them run control of this area. Uh, then I could actually have the MKB move and transition into the Dutch East Indies, potentially. I'd not, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the course of action, but I would like to do that to actually expedite the conquest of the Dutch East Indies. And uh, it would be quite useful to potentially have them move up to, like, let's say, like that area. And uh, be able to potentially... Well, this is it. The thing is, we might we might take the carriers and potentially have them move elsewhere. And potentially have our air groups uh, separate from them to move elsewhere to make use of them, really. There's a lot of options, but... If the MKB could be used at Speedy 8, the Conquest, then that could be really quite important for us. There's a lot of bases that we do need to secure. Obviously, time is ticking by, so anything that we can do to speed things up would be quite good. Another thing to take into consideration as well is if we actually put out some morsels of uh, Tempting Flesh, then... Um, of course, the actual large air bases that we have in the Dutch East Indies could further, well, strengthen us be probably beyond a point at which he could actually manage it to a degree. He can't really cope with that sort of uh, output as such. Our combined fleet is going to continue to head back. Good thing, yeah, they're heading towards the bank at this moment in time. Yeah. Oh, we shut down some Catalinas. We're more or less about done here. Hmm. Yeah, more or less now. Yep, so that's pretty much the state of the game at this moment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Goodbye for now.